And we're here at the SID Display Week 2019. Uh, hi, so who are you? Hey, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I am Steven. Welcome to our CSOT booth. And uh, let me have you uh, some brief introduction to our product. So this one is our first uh, uh, 31 inch 4K IJP OLED. So this is a printed, printed Ultra HD? Yes, we, we use the inject printing machine to put our materials on our OLED. So um, this is a very high PPI. The PPI? You call it the IGP OLED. Yeah, the PPI is 144 PPI. This is the highest in the world? Mm. Nobody can do as good? Uh, I think some companies still also develop this product, but the, the IJP technology we still also work on that. Mm. So uh, is there any defect or any dead pixels or anything? Mm. It's hard to see. It's just some, some defect line somewhere, but it's just because it's a prototype, right? A little line yeah, here. This is the prototype. We do it in our uh, experiment lab, so Another we line there. But maybe it's on purpose because you're kind of like um, putting them together or something. You're printing stripes yeah. or some kind of way. How does it work? How to make this? How to make this? Printed big printer. Yeah, you could be printer to to drop to drop our materials on the big print. Is it is the idea of with printed OLED that maybe the price will go down? Yeah. Maybe it will be more affordable, right? Mm. Cool. And what are we looking at here? World's first 3D transparent OLED. Yeah. Basically, the uh, OLED is a transparency. The transparency is around 40%. And we put a parallel a barrier fin on the top, so you can see a 3D performance here. So there's a parallax barrier, so you can yeah, see a 3D see, transparency. These panels. Yeah. Whoa. So this is 31 inch 3D transparent AMOLED. And this is another transparent. This is also a transparent technology. We use a 28 inch uh, open cell to, to make a trans high transparency. The uh, liquid crystal display get uh, around 35 percentage transparency. And uh, you can see through the uh, uh, fold inside the box. Nice. Here. And here's the world's first real-time rendering uh, 22 <laughs> light field display. You do a lot of world's first. It's world's first, world's first, world's first. Uh -huh. Is that what you do? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but so this is a uh, light field. Yeah, this is a kind of uh, 3D display technology. How does that work? How does that work? You Instant. just uh, stand back a little, yeah. little bit, and you can see the oh, so 3D image here. Whoa. Yeah. So you see the 3D from a little bit further away? Yeah, a little further away. And, uh, you won't feel the eyes complete. Uh, well, we it, use the two, uh, two cell to is make it a the parallax barrier. Mm -hmm. Parallax barrier also? Or? No, it's not a barrier. We use the two panel. We use the multi layer panel and give a different image in the front panel and the back channel. Well, how many? Just two? Two. Only two one. light field for only two places, just for two eyes? No, 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 no. One picture image, but we uh, separate the information, depth information into front panel and the back, back panel. And the, your mm -hmm. eyes will mix the image. To make a beautiful 3D flower. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, so here we have a 6.6 .6 PE OLED. What is special about this? Uh, this is um, PE, is um, a new color conversion material here. Uh, the advantage of these materials can get a narrow uh, have width, full width have major, so you can get a more uh, wider color gamma here. And we use uh, this new material to, to try to put on our gray uh, OLED background, so we can get a more high color gamma here. High color gamma with PE mm. OLED. Yeah. Uh, and here is a QD OLED, it's quantum dot. Yes. The, the concept is also the same. We use the um, blue OLED as our background, and we we put our quantum dot materials in our uh, upper glass and combine the color filter. And you can see the full color image here. It is a kind of a different uh, full color uh, display technology in OLED. So the quantum dot is making the OLED even better? Yeah. The color is even better? Yeah, color better and the view angle is better. Is the quantum dot on glass or no? Quantum dot on glass. We also use the IJP machine to drop the quantum dot material in our uh, black bank. 
So you have QD on glass there. Yes, QD on glass. To together with the OLED, together. and it's just amazing colors. Uh, combined with the uh, uh, blue OLED. Can you make this in a big one, or only small for now? Uh, only small for now. Why not the big TV already? Uh, because uh, uh, right now the 16, 16, 16 inch is uh, doing manually in our lab. We need more uh, new manually to make bigger. Manually. Mm. Yeah. And here we have a flexible mini LED. Yeah. 320 by 160. So what is this? Uh, this is a mini LED display, but uh, uh, the feature is that uh, we use the card as PI, so it's a, a transparent and a, and a flash ball. And the flexible, you have a mini LED system here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's not a micro LED. It's not micro LED. Uh, LED How does it compare? It's big. It's big. big. Chip. It's big chip. Right. LED size is around 100 to Actually, 200. You have some micro LED. A 3.3 yeah. inch micro LED yeah. with the EXO. Yes. The EXO is a uh, um, driving technology. Right now in our company, we use uh, actually to drive the micro LED. This is a 3.3 micro LED display. And the transmittance is around 45%. It's also transparent. Why the demo is turning on and off? <laughs> yeah. The camera gets confused a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. Just and, uh, we so make the bed plan and uh, we cooperate with other companies to do the mass transfer and on our bed plan. So you do mass transfer is difficult? Yeah, it's very difficult. It? We we have some uh, uh, vendor we outsource to our um, other company, co-worker company to do that mass transfer. And so, there's, there's a lot of micro LED in the future? It yeah, should be. Should be. And uh, for this panel, uh, we need to uh, sense our uh, um, co work coming in, play nitride. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so, did you say play nitride? Yeah, we So, you co co cooperation with play nitride to do yeah. the transfer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, is this is this the, the best micro LED in the SID display week or no? One maybe, of them. Maybe it's not best, but in the future, oh. We hope we can make the best. Can you make a big 4K micro LED TV? Uh, right now we still have another problem on that, but we will work on that. So you're working hard? Yeah, you working hard. What is this? Is a flexible LCD? Yeah. What is special about this one? Mm. It's flexible. The flexible LCD is um, very hard to make it work because you need to use two color SPI on the car filter side and the TFT side and combine it together. So you you also need to make sure the color is, otherwise you will get more yellow, yellowish. So, and it's very hard to make it bigger. So 14 inch is almost the largest in the world. Do you work together with Flex Enable or no? No, we do it by ourselves. You make it by yourself? Yes. We we buy the material and then we tune in the process and finally we get this result. Do you think it's the best flexible LCD in the world? Maybe not. I'm not sure. I cannot guarantee it's the best. Maybe. But <laughs> it's pretty good. On the side, it's quite big. But it's not flexible dynamically. No, it's, it's a formed. Mm, it's formed. It's face yeah. curved. Nice. All right. Yeah, let's go around here. So, um... Here you have also another world's first. Uh, this is a 65 inch Q cell. Yes. Which is the world's first QD display with high efficiency QD polarizer. Yeah, unlike uh, normal QD fin uh, display, we combine the QD fin and the polarizer two in one. And uh, we also can get a wider uh, brightness view angle. So the, the top one is yours? And this is conventional or what? This is conventional, and the upside is uh, a QD polarizer. So it's very wide viewing angle. Yes. Uh, you put it on the polarizer. It's one of the sheet, the layers. Yes. Yeah. Combine the polarizer. The, the polarizer is one of the last layers, or? In a, is a button polarizer close to the backlight. The one close to the backlight is yes. full of quantum dots. With quantum dot, we put quantum dot in our polarizer. Uh, do you say what quantum dot or hmm? is it, mm. you don't say which quantum dot, how you do? 
we see Conan that you don't say if it's uh, which company or is it Nanosys or you don't say <laughs> no need to say yeah. but so so is this coming on the market or is it going to change the TV market when this comes out we have planned to put it in the market but maybe it's not this year but we will try to make it come, come true nice soon. and if you go around here yeah. um, this is 5,000 zones uh, with local dimming is it mini LED yeah yeah, we unlike a no, normal local dimming in Beilai, we use the uh, 5,000 long to come. 5,000 long, the, the anti matrix mini LED. So the Beilai can also display uh, some some image. So when the image come in, the Beilai will also get a uh, gray level image. So nice. like this, you can see the Beilai will also get a maybe roughly speed image and uh, compile our. Uh, Original display image. So then you can get a very high contrast ratio. What is blue? Mm -hmm. blue. Black, blue. 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 Bell eye. Back. Uh, Bell eye. Unit. Yes. All right. So it's not pixel dimming, but it's, it's very high dimming. local dimming. Yes. Is this coming in the market? We also plan to put it in the market soon. Soon. To have very good contrast um, yes. LCD TVs. Yes. Right, let's go on the back here. You have some curved, I saw, right? Advanced image. So you do a lot of curved TV, is it? Yeah, this is a curved TV. Uh, but this uh, technology just want to show the image counter enhancement. So uh, we use the logarithm to uh, get a better uh, uh, counter enhancement. So you can see the right side and the, the left side, they are different counter contrast. Is on a chipset you do this? No, we use a logarithm. You do use a what? A logarithm. Algorithm. 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 So it's a smart algorithm to enhance the image. Yes, yes. So it's running uh, somewhere, and then this is also TV use scene. A logarithm to to detect the uh, picture, uh, to tell the picture environment. So you can see that when we put a picture, so the the, the logarithm will detect the the what is there a lake or ocean for nice. this picture, and uh, we do the. Um, uh, better uh, color performance. So it's AI, AI. Uh, upscaling and picture enhancement. Mm, yes. And you, so you do a lot of work on the chipset. You do TV ch CPU, maybe. No, no, no. To optimize. Oh, it's not in the CPU. No. 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 It's just uh, some system in there. Yeah, and, and, uh, and uh, do uh, some logging. Yeah. This is uh, uh, another uh, AI AI technology. We can. Uh, it's upscaling, the, right? Yeah, upscaling our source. Our image source is original, maybe it's lower than... It's just HD and go up to 4K? Yes. Or something like that? Yeah. Cool. All right. But uh, this is yeah. all the big TV uh, that we have so far. And mm -hmm. you also have some a lot of things for mobile, right? Yes. Oh. We will let another guy to introduce our mobile technology. Yes. All right. You can introduce. Welcome Hi. To Hi, guys. Hello. I'm Hi. Blake. So who let are me. you? I'm Black. Hi guys. Yeah. Let me introduce the mobile phone. And uh, this is a uh, very hot and awesome portable screen. And uh, this one is in in a dynamic in a in a bending. And, uh, you can see 7.2 inch. Yes. AMOLED 2048 by 1536. Yes. Uh, is this uh, is this Soon in the market, or is already in the market, or how soon is available? Uh, we we are planning, uh, planning uh, mass production in at the end of uh, this year. This year. Yeah. This so year. this year will come, and maybe real phone will have it will be thin like this. Yeah, real phone. We, time, real phone. Nice. Right now we we are cooking with some uh, cell phone customer. And maybe it will look uh, something like this, <laughs> yes, right here. This uh, yeah. is let's see. static. Yeah, yeah. Let's jump in here. Yeah, let's kind of important to show up when the, when the VPS yeah. for a review. So this is, uh, this is potentially how it looks. Uh, it's a big challenge to make a nice hinge design, you know. Uh, so you just make display, but the partner will make the whole design. Yes. How to put it in and how to... Pulling yeah, the hinge. The hinge is difficult to do, right? Yes. It has to be nicely done. Yeah. We, and then we the find, uh, a good 
local Tenji vendor can provide the the cool design for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Um, but you don't have yet one you can show in the hand, right? Uh, let's go around, around here. Thank you. Nice. So right here. This is Novocus screen. There is very high resolution. 5K, 3K. 5K by 3K in a 15.6 inch. So we're talking about 5120 by 2880. This is for laptop? This is for Novocus. Notebook? Yes. So you can see more detail on video. And uh, we do the slim border design. You see? Nice. The border is very thin. No bezel yeah. nearly. No. Tiny yeah. bezel. Almost no bezel. How soon in the market? How soon? I, the Maybe same, later. I think, yeah. This year and... Uh, and here's the automotive. So yeah. do you have a big uh, share in a car market? Yes. This this screen we can buy the touch function into the display screen. So it's in cell touch. Yeah, this is in cell touch. So the screen will be more uh, light and uh, thin, thinner. Nice. Yes. And what is this? This is mobile phone screen. Oh, can I buy this one? I want this with no. Ah, no, there's a hole. But uh, this is a bezel less. Yes. With a little, little hole here. Yeah, very little hole. And then we, come, we, we, we use the mini LED backlight. This is backlight engine right here? Yes. You can see. How many zones you have here? Okay, 400 zones. 400 zones? Yes. That looks cool. Boo. Okay, this is our best product right now. So there's already a phone on the market, yes. this one? Yeah, you can buy it in the market. So... This is real phone in the market. But this is uh, AMOLED? No, no. this is LCD. LCD. LCD, so it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not for the most expensive, right? It's a little more affordable? It's not affordable. It's affordable, just, yeah. yeah. Not affordable. So yeah. A little cheaper. A little cheaper? Yes. Nice. Uh, and uh, over here you have a couple more things here. Okay. There's another PC monitor, mini LED. This, yeah, this is a uh, notebook screen with mini LED. So the contrast ratio is very high. About uh, 100,000. 100,000. This one is our automotive screen. Narrow borders. Yeah, with narrow border. So um, at uh, CSOT, you you ship in many millions of displays. It's big, big, big production. Yes, from big. big market. Um, yes, from big and uh, medium and uh, small. Cool. 